This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. The counter pattern can be used with strings too. Do this. Run the program to see how it runs. Now, note a new block, get text on line 14. Well, we've seen that once before. Let's hit run. All right, so nothing's happening. Add a new reminder. Uh, birthday is my reminder. Remind. N nothing's happening. Okay. Add code so that each reminder is added to a different line. Remember, the new line character is slash in. Oh, okay, so it does have it as a variable. Oh, it just takes a minute. Got it. Oh, it added it twice because I clicked it twice. Oh, I should increase the speed. I bet it will work better then. Run. It was trying to run through the code, and that's what it was doing. So if I show all this code, let me hit remind, it will show us how it runs, right? It's pretty handy, but okay. So we need to add add code so that the reminder input is cleared out if you click remind button. Okay, so add code so that each reminder is added to a new line. Let's do that first. All right, so when I click the remind button, new reminder, get text remind. And if we forget what that is, we can go over here and say, well, I can hover over it. Nope. Anyways, uh, it grabs the text from whatever's called remind. Yep, right here, remind. So that must be remind input. It's going to grab that text and assign it to our new remind variable, which is declared up here for our new remind. So now that text is equal to new remind. Now what do we do? Well, we say all reminders. What's all reminders? Uh, all reminders is equal to feed the cats. Well, all reminders is now equal to all reminders plus the new remind we just entered. If we also want to have a, a new line character in there, we could just grab a plus and another plus. I'm just going to put it in like this. I think it's a bit faster. So I'm going to do, remember, and like they said, a new line character is a slash in. And that way, each time we add a new reminder, it should show up on a new line. And there we go. New line. Okay. So now we got that. Add code so that the remind input is cleared out when you click remind. And what they mean by that is if I hit run here, when I put up, it sticks around right here. So now we need to add code to get that. I'm going to give this in this white space. So to do that, let's do the on event play set property. And then what's this called? Well, get remind or remind input. So I'm going to say remind input text is equal to nothing. Let's see if that works. Blah, blah, blah. Boom, added, and it's blanked out. So again, yo, remind. Boom, and that text is blanked out for us. Hmm. So we needed to add a plus to add in this new line, and then we wanted to set the property of the remind input to nothing. And that takes care of it. Cool. Onward.